uh, welcome to the next lecture in which we will study the switching modulators now this will lead us to a first circuit complete circuit for modulating double sideband suppressed carrier signal <coughs> so in previous lecture i gave a general uh, introduction to switching modulators but in this particular lecture we will be studying specific switching modulator so one of the basic structure is what is called a diode bridge modulator is a very simple circuit you have a message signal here okay this is the message signal okay i will repeat the uh, nomenclature it's also called a baseband signal this nomenclature will be used later on terminology it's also called low pass signal because it has all the frequency components are of low frequency hence this signal easily passes through low pass filter <coughs> sorry now here at point a b you will be connecting this bridge diode bridge circuit you might have seen definitely this diode bridge circuit uh, you know in your rectifiers and i hope if you have a course on power electronics that is full of such circuits okay so you you uh, you put this circuit a and b here it's called it we put it in uh, you know series now how will it behave now <coughs> you look at this uh, bridge circuit carefully we have here four diodes okay so d1 d2 d3 d4 and here is a cos omega ct so this particular point we connect uh, an oscillator which generates very high frequency carrier signal okay so omega c is much higher than the frequency omega of uh, you can say message signal or if you represent by b the bandwidth of message signal so this carrier frequency is much higher than that <laughs> now how will it work <coughs> So you are applying a cosine signal, you know, to this bridge. So in the positive half of this cosine signal, diodes D1 <coughs> and D2, that will be forward biased, right? So A and B will conduct and in negative half <coughs> the diodes <coughs> d1 d2 will be reverse biased and d3 and d4 will be forward biased right so it will not conduct and in one cycle a and b will act like closed circuit and in another cycle of cause signal a and b will act like open circuit so the overall function of this diode bridge at the point a b will look like as if you are multiplying message signal with this on off signal So this is the result of this diode bridge at A and B. So at A and B what you are looking if you connect a oscilloscope at points A and B, you will look it, it will appear to you as if it is putting on off, on off, on off. And by keeping M of T here and then AB in series, 
the overall result will be suppose if i call this on off signal as w of t so the overall result of m of t and uh, you know connecting m of t here and putting a and b in this diode bridge at the points a and b will be this m of t gets multiplied with <coughs> this uh, you know square pulses now these square pulses they are periodic okay so it is a periodic signal so the result of this diode bridge is you know you get a periodic signal it gets you know it converts the operation of diodes is such that when you put an oscillator in between diodes uh, you know in between the point c and d then between the points a and b we get the on off operation it is just like you know when you converted ac to dc right since uh, the frequency of ac signal is 50 hertz very less frequency so if you remember at that point what you were getting is right <clears throat> but when the frequency will be very high very high frequency then it will not you will it, it will look like a you know they just on off definitely if you go by exact analysis it will not be perfect square <clears throat> but what happens for low frequencies the curvature is quite visible but for higher frequencies suppose if i draw it it might be some curved but it appears to you as if it is a simple square wave okay because the frequency is very high so for a very small duration you know uh, you can just you know just imagine that if i slice from this just this part so this part appears linear straight okay that is what i mean now how do we represent this square periodic uh, square signal okay so here i have although you might have done this for your series but i have added a small digression on it so any periodic signal g of t can be represented and if the period of signal is t naught so it can be represented as a linear combination of sine and cosine so here is one fourier series form summation a n cos n omega and t omega, omega naught t b n sine n omega naught t you can write it also as a naught so n is equal to 0 you can put separately because cos 0 is 1 sine 0 is 0 so a naught plus n is equal to 1 to infinity a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sine where a n it is simply uh, integral of g of t cos n omega t naught t divided by integral of cos square omega naught t okay this i will not justify these formulas you have done a course on Fourier series if you have forgot it you can go to chapter number two and or three on pp lati it will it is given there i just want to recall the formulas and finally cos square you can easily integrate so you get 2 by t naught integral g of t cos in omega naught i have written here 0 to t naught it is not necessary it can be over any period so it can be suppose minus t naught by 2 to t naught by 2 so the key is that you multiply the signal with cos and integrate over one time period whether it is 0 to t naught whether it is minus t naught by 2 to t naught by 2 whether it is uh, t naught to 2 t naught that is uh, up to you and you have to see which uh, in limits will give you quick result and similarly bn which is the uh, coefficient of sine term that is 2 by t naught integral g of t sine n omega naught t dt okay you can write it in compact form also so a n cos n omega naught t plus b n sine n omega naught t can be written as c n cos n omega naught t plus theta n so c n is uh, root of so this is the you know easily you can convert these forms where c n is root of a n square plus b n square theta n is tan inverse minus b n by a n so for the series can also be written as summation c n cos n omega naught t mm, theta n so which i have told in last class
Now let's come to this. So here is the uh, you can see on off train on off square train which is a periodic with period t naught t naught here uh, is uh, 2 pi from the figure okay and i want to find it as fourier transform for a series sorry so you can see that to find a naught you just need to integrate omega t from minus t naught by 2 to t naught by 2 but what i observe is this is the t naught so t naught is here t naught by 2 is here and t naught by 4 is here pi by 2 okay so between minus t naught by 4 to t naught by 4 that is between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 value of this square pulse is 1 okay so i put here 1 and integrate we got a naught is equal to 1 by 2 similarly you will get a n 2 by t naught omega t cos and omega naught t now again between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 the value of square pulse is 1 okay and then cos omega naught t dt so which becomes 2 by n pi sin n pi by 2 we know that sin n pi by 2 if n is even definitely it becomes suppose sin pi sin 2 pi sin 3 4 pi then it is 0 then for odd if it is suppose sin pi by 2 that is uh, 1 but sin 3 pi by 2 is minus 1 then sin 5 pi by 2 is again 1 sin 7 pi by 2 is minus 1 so we can write in general that this is equal to 2n 2 by n pi if n is 1 5 9 you know so on so forth that is these are the odds with the gap of 4 right so 1 plus 4 is 5 5 plus 4 is 9 9 plus 4 is 13 and it is minus 2 by n pi if n is 3 7 11 starting from 3 again a gap of 4 bn is uh, omega t and uh, wt sine of n omega naught t and this integral is 0 okay so there is no bn term so we can write the Fourier series of omega w of t this periodic pulse we can write as periodic square wave 1 by 2 plus 2 by pi then there is a cos minus 1 by 3 cos uh, then 1 plus 1 by 5 cos 5 omega t okay you have done for a series so you definitely know some facts one fact is that this is called the first harmonic fundamental frequency omega naught then there are higher harmonics 3 omega naught is the first harmonic uh, 5 omega naught is second harmonic and then there is an the amplitude term which goes on decreasing so and we can also write it in compact form like this so here is one exercise for you suppose instead of on off if uh, if it is like this plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 then you have to prove that it's for a series is 4 by pi cos omega naught t minus 1 by 3 cos 3 omega naught t see it remains same except the dc term 1 by 2 is missing okay i hope this is clear now if it is clear now come back to this now it, so as i have told you that what is the result of operation of putting this uh, diode bridge at the point a b you know in front of message signal is the output is you get m of t w of t now where w of t this periodic square wave can be represented as 1 by 2 plus 2 by pi cos now instead of omega t it is your omega c t because you will get the <coughs> you will get the pulses uh, at frequency omega c instead of omega naught okay then minus 1 by 3 cos of uh, 3 omega c t plus 1 by 5 cos of 5 omega c t okay so uh, the m of t w t will be equal to m of t by 2 plus 2 by pi m of t cos omega c t minus m of t cos 3 omega c t by 3 plus m of t cos 5 omega ct by 5 right 
so this will be the output of a and b now look at this you have here m of t it's Fourier transform now if i write Fourier transform of this whole part that will be m of omega plus 2 by pi now see the Fourier transform of this m of t cos omega this uh, ct is m of t half of m of omega plus omega c plus m of omega minus omega c okay then there is 1 by 3 m of t cos t omega naught t so it will be 1 by 6 m of omega plus 3 omega c plus m of omega minus 3 omega c okay then there is oh, 1 by 2 times 1 by 5 1 by 10 m of omega plus 5 omega c plus m of omega minus 5 omega c so on so forth so this output you know we can represent as so uh, here is this is m of omega by 2 okay and then comes the desired one which i will show with red color sorry so this will be m of omega so this is omega c okay and minus omega c and again with blue color then there will be other this is 3 omega c minus 3 omega c okay so then 5 omega c amplitude is decreasing no doubt minus 5 omega c so on so forth okay now which one is the desired one right so desired one is you want this we want m of omega plus omega c plus m of omega minus omega c we want this term which is the Fourier transform of m of t cos omega c t that is the dsbsc term so we will put this is the band pass filter so after you know putting this through band pass filter we will get definitely there are some you know multiplying terms there so but as i told that uh, we can get rid of those so i will write it it is just a moment 2 by pi m of t cos omega c t after putting through band pass filter all other terms will be eliminated okay so you can write it as some k times m of t cos omega c t k is a constant so it doesn't matter so you can see so here at the output of this diode bridge modulator we will get k times m of t cos omega c t okay so this is one uh, you know one of the modulators and it uses a very switching concept very simple to design uh, although filter design is not so simple definitely but one can easily design it and we can have even in lab if, if lab were open using 741 op amp you can design the whole circuit and using few diodes in next lecture we will be studying another type that is called a ring modulator thank you